Good evening, Assalamu Alaikum, and welcome to Sports Extra. I'm your host, Ahmed Nawaz. We have got a great show planned for tonight. It's going to be a cracker. You're going to have a very surprising guest here as well. He's a real champion. You can call him the superhero of a sport as well. That has been really good to Pakistan. We've got so many world titles. We've enjoyed so much fame. And now after a gap of uh, obviously some time when it was tough when the greats retired, we are now, uh, you know, can say step by step getting back to that glory as well. It's going to be a great show. You're going to learn a lot about what's coming up next for this fine gentleman as well. I'm definitely going to introduce him, but not right now. I'm going to keep you waiting and keep you intact to the show as well, obviously. But uh, like I said, uh, you always start with a sport where you achieve a lot. But when what happens in between, and there you have it. So the bugs have let out the secret. My producers have given you the secret before I could announce it. He's none other. He's the champion of Pakistan squash and international squash for me as well. I am calling him the superhero of squash these days because he's uh, participating in all kinds of international competitions. He's an uh, inspiration to so many other people out there as well. And he belongs to uh, a place, if you want to call it, or an area which has produced so many squash legends for Pakistan. And squash is a game we know that Pakistan has enjoyed such a great history in squash as well. We've been the world champion since so many long times to come. But what happened in between, obviously, when your stalwarts retire, you've got to face uh, some sort of dreadlock and some, obviously, uh, a time when you're taken back. But then definitely it comes on the right track when you have it in safe hands. And I think uh, squash coupled up with the Pakistan Squash Federation, supported or powered by the Pakistan Air Force, I think it's doing uh, great for Pakistan now, especially when I look at this fine gentleman, I look at the younger lot that is inspired by him as well. He's not afraid to uh, go to the youngsters, tell them about it as well, and not afraid to learn because life is all about learning. And once you're excelling in your own sports and you're learning and you're getting international exposure as well, that's what makes you different. And that's what makes you, uh, you know, achieve that top of the crown. He's been there. He's enjoyed, you know, his international ranking says a lot as well. He's enjoyed so many t titles. He's made it to the finals of so many titles as well. The national champions have been great for him as well. And like I said, all in all, he's a complete squash player who's going to be participating in about six and seven competitions very soon. And we're going to be discussing that as well. In the second segment, we'll of course be discussing cricket as usual. And definitely it's the same thing. We know that the camp for the 20 probables for the series against Sri Lanka is underway at the National Cricket Academy in Lahore. Head coach and chief selector, Ms. Paul Haq, is supervising the camp. And there you see the visuals on your screens as well. We know that this is very important. These 20 names comprise of Pakistani stalwarts and, of course, domestic names as well. From here onwards, we're going to get the final squads for the series. It's great to see that Sri Lanka have uh, the final word is now out. They're touring Pakistan as normal. Security concerns have been removed. It's going to be a great series. Karachi and Lahore would be lucky enough to witness cricket as well. And we're going to have T20s and one-day internationals as well. But, uh, you know, bowling, in terms of bowling, where Pakistan has always been good, uh, it's great that they've got Wakar Yunus as a bowling coach for Pakistan as well. So it'll be good to talk about all the pros and cons, and especially of the new first-class tournament that is happening. But all of this, definitely that surprise that's been let out as well. But I'll give you that gentleman in person as well. We're going to take a very short break, and when we come back, will give you all that you want to know about that sport and what's he doing, what he's going to do internationally very soon as well. Stay tuned to Sports Extra. Right, welcome back to Sports Extra. And before the break, I said a lot. I think I said too much because now you want to see that person in person, live in front of you. And that is none other. Like I said, I call him the superhero of Pakistan squash. 
His best rankings have included him going up to all the way to the number 16. I think I might be wrong as well, but he's going to tell you that. He's played so many uh, championships here in Pakistan and abroad as well. He's going towards six, seven international events at the same time very soon as well. He trains like a champion. He fights like a gladiator. He is one of the greatest players of this era that I know of squash in Pakistan. He's none other than Mr. Farhan Mehboob. Sir, Assalamu alaikum. How are you? I'm fine. Good. It's good to have you finally. Yeah, <laughs> Thank I've you been for having me again. You. <laughs> so how was your tournament? I'm going to ask you this because you, you were traveling recently as well. Yeah, then you played the national championships. Now, you, I've, you, just before the break, you just told me that there are so many other uh, competitions coming up. That means you're having no break from routine. Yeah, nowadays, uh, the time is so short for us because the, the, the tournaments are just coming. Mm. Because I, when I saw the calendar, yesterday I saw the calendar, I said, my, oh my God, there's <laughs> a lot of tournaments yeah. nowadays because if you see, like, the weather is changing, mm -hmm. the, when the winter is coming, so there is a lot of tournament is coming. Mm -hmm. So my secretary yesterday, he told me, like, in Pakistan, we arranged there's too many, uh, two more tournaments. I said, oh, my God, like, more two? Six and two, eight. Yeah, two, eight, eight tournaments. Yeah. But my, I, I think, like, uh, I told to my secretary, like, say, one year is gone. <laughs> <laughs> there's no friendship, no yeah. nothing, no enjoyment, just no playing time. tournaments. So if I want to do no anything, I, I, if my friends call me, I'll say, I'll see you next year. Next year. Not, not <laughs> yeah. Next year, next year my, my phone is going to be maybe mm -hmm. uh, switch off mm -hmm. for the for one year. <laughs> so I'm playing like uh, now Malaysian Open and then uh, London Open. Mm -hmm. Then there's a tournament in France as we call him like uh, DOG French Open. I don't know. There's a, it's a very tough name. Mm -hmm. So it's a fifteen thousand US dollars. So because I play that uh, small tournament first to improve my ranking first. Mm -hmm. When I reach on the top 50, then I started uh, the, major the major tournaments, mm -hmm. yeah, like US Open, French Open, British Open, or uh, World Open, of course, World Open. So first, I have to focus on the small tournaments. If I win this, maybe I can improve my ranking like in three months. Mm -hmm. When inshallah, I reach top definitely. 50, yes. so I will definitely, inshallah, tala, playing major tournaments. Right. Uh, you, you talked about so many tournaments coming up. And like you said, uh, you just heard that two more major tournaments in Pakistan are going to start very soon as well. But as a player, you're bound to play all of them. It's not like you can say, no, I'm not going to play these two tournaments. I'm going to play just three because I'm a very big star. No, that doesn't happen. To be a real champion like the greats that we have had in Pakistan, including Kamar Zaman, Jangir Khan and Jan Sher Khan, you must think like them as well. And that basically means playing every tournament that is thrown at you with full resilience and full force. Uh, Ahmed Bhai, like, see, tournaments is a tournament. Whatever is small or big, mm -hmm. Because when I, when I talked to my uncle, Janshir, like he said, like, I started tournament from the national as well. Mm -hmm. First, like in Pakistan, was in 1980s, there's no biggest tournament in Pakistan. Yeah. So, Janshir Mamu, my, he told me, like, say, I play like 1,000 US dollar tournament, mm -hmm. like international. So, tournament is tournament if whatever you win or lose. But if you win international tournaments for your country, it's a biggest, uh, very big. Uh, but even if you if you don't win, the experience of that international tournament would be great for you. We, of course, because yes. uh, like I see a lot of negative people in uh, everywhere. Like see, oh my God, like Farhan lost in the first round. It doesn't matter because every legend or every star losing their match sometime mm. in the first round. It's a game. It's you a have game. To win or lose, yes. Everyone is coming for the tournament for winning, not mm -hmm. for losing. So I play my best, I give my best for my country. If I'm not winning the if I'm not winning the match or if I'm not winning the uh, tournament, of course the other player maybe he should play good. Yeah. And he better uh, like he better with like uh, he better play squash. Yeah, he might be physically more physically fit. more yeah, fit and confidently mm. maybe. And, the, and the, you mean the training even they get is far beyond what we get anyway. So I saw like there yeah. is a lot of uh, international players, they training more than us. Mm -hmm. And they, they I, I see his training like it's totally changed. Mm -hmm. Because when I saw my training, like when I saw our training, it's so old. They've got new techniques they, now. Uh, they got new techniques. They saw our matches before when he played with me. So, so I saw there's a lot of players. Well. Like when I, once <laughs> I play uh, with the Hong Kong guy, like he's the Hong Kong number one, Liao. So I told him like, Liao, you want to play with me. Next day, he lost to me 3-2. I said, man, today you was fantastic on court. I said, yesterday I saw your matches and I pick your weakness. Mm. So they're studying every yeah, bit of so you. Yeah, he's studying me everywhere. Like, where is Farhan and where his 
his weakness. So, so squ squash players are getting dangerous, but talking about all that negativity that Farhan was telling you about, so all of you people who are giving Farhan negativity, uh, I'll give you something to do. Why don't you challenge him in court? Just play one set with him. Uh, then you'll find out how hard it is to play squash. I bet you can't even bounce that squash ball because even I can. So it's hard to talk outside the court. Once you come inside the court, then you'll realize. So it's easy for people to talk outside. Yeah, easy to in every sport. Like but you know what you're going through. Your body's going through a lot. There is no social life that you're enjoying. You're completely involved in all of this rigorous training. But uh, like you mentioned, there is a lot of difference uh, between our training and international training as well. I know uh, the Federation has a lot to do with this because we are step by step uh, trying to cope up with international standards. But a very important point that many of our players miss is that it's, it won't be just your coach, uh, just your squash federation or any other partners that will help you. As an individual, you have to think big as well. Like I've always given people the example that uh, Sir Kamar Zaman told me that because squash balls were very uh, not easily accessible. So all those, uh, you can say, uh, finished squash balls after the games or that were not of any use were bought to his house from his father and then he used to practice with those. So as an individual, you have to do a lot as well. Yeah, this is um, important things because we started training like the age of six. Mm -hmm. I used to be playing like alone every hour and nobody can play with me like uh, in court. So mm -hmm. Sometime like uh, the lights was off and I still playing, I still was like waiting for the, the lights dark, yes. and I play in the dark. <laughs> so this is the main important things because squash is nowadays uh, going to be in day by day a very difficult and different squash. Mm -hmm. I, I follow some squash player for I mean, the international squash player like the was world number one Greg Greg Goltier or like Sh Romeo Shur, Shabana. I saw his training like totally different and totally like uh, they eat uh, healthy food mm -hmm. the and they have a uh, physio, they have an uh, instructor, they have uh, a gym trainer, they have a lot of things. But in Pakistan, we have just coach and just one physical instructor. Yeah. That's it. Uh, and your uh, and Farhan is his own, uh, you can say nutritionist. Farhan is his own uh, massage therapist. I'm all old, Farhan yeah. is everything. I'm all legend. <laughs> <laughs> like and you, you're carrying your stuff yourself yeah. as well. Sometimes so like I play with, the, I play squash like I'm all alone, mm -hmm. nobody there, even in Sunday. So I use my practice and then I go to after gym and that's, that's it for me. I'll come with you next time. Oh, I, can, sure. I, I, can, I can help you. Definitely. I, I'll carry your food and your bag <laughs> as well. I don't mind. But you're really a champion. But uh, these are the differences will always be there. Uh, now talking about squash in Pakistan, uh, I think you would agree and you'd like to comment on this that uh, with the help of the Pakistan Air Force and the Squash Federation together. Uh, step by step, they're doing a lot to change that culture. Over the past two or three years, I think you'd agree that uh, we're going towards the right track now. We're uh, making a lot of uh, squash courts. They're of almost international standards. So things are going in the right direction. Yeah, there is, uh, because now I can see a lot of change in Federation because they uh, follow players, they uh, support players mm -hmm. nowadays for the tournaments. Mm -hmm. And now I can see uh, Pakistan Squash Federation is uh, more active and they're doing a very good job because they bring tournament in Pakistan, the international, especially the international international tournaments, and they bring uh, a lot of uh, things for Pakistan, but uh, I can see changes. Inshallah, if they do these things, uh, one day uh, we will uh, provide, Inshallah, Tala Jahanshir and Jangir and that uh, championship will be. And nowadays, I. Some people are supporting me, like uh, one of, uh, I can, maybe I can say is, her name is like Anila Khwaja, mm -hmm. is supporting me a lot of things. Uh, yeah, I, I see I her on your Twitter always, yeah, so I know that. Uh, <laughs> so I using, uh, I, I joining like game plan, so mm -hmm. he's always supporting me. She's a very good lady and she's uh, have a diamond heart, so uh -huh. yes. So, so you're, you're getting a lot of support that way. Uh, yes. And that's necessary because uh, sometimes you're so much focused on the game that you, as a player, you need somebody to look after other things as well. Yeah, because she's very good, because she talked to me once, like on phone, and some, if I met her, so she always, uh, like ma'am told me, like everything about a positive things, like mm -hmm. not a negative things. Like Farhan, you have to fight alone. Mm -hmm. If someone not supporting you, you have to fight alone. And one day, inshallah, you can see, uh, if you win the titles, everyone come here for support you. Mm -hmm. So she's a very good lady and I can say like, 
um, I, f I find a good woman for, for, for me now, like uh, to support me, mm. inshallah ta'ala, I will never let her down for mm. my entire career. I'm sure, I'm sure she's inshallah. banking on you a lot with her advice and it's good. I think it's a great shout out to Miss Anila Khwaja as well. I think ma'am, we salute you that you're giving him the positivity that he needs. Uh, I think it's enough that Pakistan is being, uh, you know, uh, getting so many players, getting so much of talent. But some people actually give those players so much negativity that they're disheartened. So I think, Ms. Anila, you're doing a great job. You know, uh, we really, really commend you on this. Uh, but let's talk about your routine now. You've been through injuries as well. Uh, there's uh, yeah. no shame in admitting that you have. And coming back from them has been very difficult. Uh, I got a lot of time the, uh, to face uh, major injuries because once... Uh, for a year, I think I got a uh, growing injury and mm -hmm. I stopped squash for one year. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we face a lot of injuries, uh, for, but we can't see like uh, if, if we got small injuries, I didn't see like uh, they can stop me. But squash, squash is everything that you have ever done. So yeah. you said you started playing when you were six. So once you go out for that one year and you're not playing squash, it must be very difficult because you would that thought would be there. That, that is a negative thought that... Maybe I won't play ever again. Uh, Ahmed Bhai, like, uh, see, when I stop squash for one year, I, I cry every day. Mm. When I saw my friends Playing. to play finals, yeah. especially, mm. or I, when I saw my friends to win the uh, same tournament, what I want mm. before in the past. So, so yes, but I was happy because it's some Pakistani win the tournaments. So I was so happy about them. But uh, literally in, inside... Mm -hmm. My heart like was crying. Like and these are one of your games as well. You know, uh, the court looks absolutely fantastic. It looks so beautiful. And there you are trying to outclass your opponent, looking very fine as well. Uh, this uh, And that tells you a lot because uh, there are different types of courts as well. The crowd is on watching every point, cheering every point, And you're trying to rally as much as you can. So both of you are trying to make your opponent get tired. <laughs> yeah, because this, this tournament is, you know... Uh, it's a more important tournament because we're playing for, uh, with India in mm. quarterfinal. And that is a <laughs> This rivalry. is the biggest tournament that like, I play. Mm -hmm. Remember my coach said, this is your final, <laughs> not quarterfinal. So yeah. I was more pressuring. But uh, yes, in the end, we won this tournament. Yes. Uh, we won, we beat India 3-love. Uh, so we are very happy to beat uh, India mm. and then Hong Kong and then Malaysia. And uh, we'll... Uh, we won the Asian Championship for the sixth time. Yes, the sixth time and that yes. was something huge. But uh, now uh, I also said this and I do believe because the last time I talked to you, you said that you're always open to talk to youngsters who want your help. And this is very important. And uh, recently visiting the national championships as well or even uh, the previous international tournaments, I saw a lot of young players, especially young girls from Pakistan who are getting involved in squash. This is great. Well, this is very great. Uh, I, yesterday I was practicing, so some some boys are coming on my court. Like say they said, Farhan, bhai, you can uh, play with me. I said, why not come? Mm. So I never stop any junior to play with me because uh, once when I was a junior, so I play with the senior guys and they respect me. That's why I respect him because uh, in future maybe he's the next Farhan, Jan Sher or mm. Jangir. So they are the future of Pakistan. So I, I help every junior mm. and I help every girl. Mm. If I play, I don't care like if some girl come to me or a boy come to me to play with me. I give him time. I give him everything. I give him my experience, share with my experience with mm. him, with her. So of course I will help everyone, every, uh, every, everywhere. Like. In whoever Pakistan. comes to you, whoever come to me, yes. Even for people like me who want to learn squash, we don't know how to play squash. I will, I will definitely help you. <laughs> I will definitely help you. Yes. Just call me once. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you talked about these tournaments that are coming up internationally. Uh, tell me about them one by one, and tell me which one do you think uh, is going to be a real tough one. Uh, the Malaysian Open is very tough because it's a big, big tournament, like it's the 35,000 US dollar. Mm -hmm. So the top seed is Max Lee, it's uh, world number 14 in the world. And then London Open, of course London Open is tough because every uh, foreigner or London, especially like the England players or American players, US, Australian players are coming there mm -hmm. for because they are so good mm -hmm. and they have uh, records from the past. So. Of course, and U.S. Open is the biggest tournament, and especially, uh, so for me, the toughest one, it's the Asian Championship, 
because I play for Pakistan. You play for Pakistan. Yes. You always play for Pakistan, yeah. mashallah. That's, that's great. Uh, you've got so many fans. I know you will say you don't, but I know. I see your <laughs> Twitter and all your social media. There are so many people who want to get in touch with Farhan, who want to know what Farhan does, what's his routine like. So do you have any message that you'd like to give to your fans out there? Uh, trust me, I reply to every fan yeah. by yeah, uh, my myself, personally. Mm -hmm. Uh, whoever they are negative or positive <laughs> <laughs> but so I because I respect my fans because they respect me a lot mm -hmm. they help me a lot they cheer me up uh, so if my fans come to meet me or mm -hmm. they have any problems like uh, due to squash or whatever I will uh, will available like mm -hmm. 24 hours to help her mm -hmm. or him so because you see like uh, this fans are cheering me like everywhere in the world they're when i go player, so they yes. follow me they so follow i respect you. my fans everywhere because they are my brothers sisters mm -hmm. and friends as well it's been great talking to you uh, i think you should have a shirt that says superhero now and with a squash racket <laughs> in terms but you are a real champion uh, i always feel so lovely talking to you but i'm honored whenever you are in this show as well and i hope that i can talk to you as much as i can but definitely we're short on time and uh, we're going to be discussing your career over the time period as well. And we're going to wish you the best of luck. And we're going to be cheering for you. We'll give you tweets and messages that, come on, Farhan, <laughs> you can do it. But thank you very much for coming. Thank you so much for having thank me. You, thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. you so that much. was the great champion, the gladiator of squash, Mr. Farhan Mehboob. And like I said, he belongs to Nawa Kali, I think, right? That, yes. That's, yes. That, that has produced so many squash players for Pakistan. All the champions are there. And he is the real champion. And he's going to be that next big name for Pakistan as well. He's going into so many international tournaments. You want to stay away from that negativity and you want to give your prayers and your positivity to him because he's going to be representing Pakistan and inshallah winning all of them. I'm not going to say some of them, I'm going to say all of them. So when he comes back, we have him on the show again and he brings all of his trophies and he tells us about that fabulous journey as well. But we're going to go towards a very short break. When we come back, we'll have our cricket segment in detail. Stay tuned to Sports Extra.